But let's begin this half hour with new fallout over sexual harassment allegations against Fox News CEO Roger Ailes. Is his era at that network coming to an end? NBC's senior investigative and legal correspondent Cynthia McFadden has been following this story and the lawsuit closely. She's at Fox headquarters in New York this morning. Cynthia, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Well, there has been a lot of speculation about whether Roger Ailes is poised to sign a massive exit deal with Fox News. This morning's sister publication, the New York Post, makes it clear the end is near. New images of Roger Ailes seen here leaving Fox News with wife Elizabeth Tilson. Amid reports, the longtime CEO could be on his way out for good. Ailes' recent troubles began earlier this month when former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a lawsuit against the 76-year-old media mogul, alleging repeated sexual harassment. She urged others to speak out, releasing this message on Twitter on Tuesday. It's time for us to come out of the shadows and let our voices be heard. Ailes called Carlson's allegations offensive and defamatory and said that they would be vigorously defended. Now another Fox News anchor, Megan Kelly, has entered the controversy. Among New York Magazine reports, she too was sexually harassed by Ailes. Ailes attorney Susan Estridge responded, saying, quote, Roger Ailes has never sexually harassed Megyn Kelly. In fact, he spent much of the last decade promoting and helping her to achieve the stardom she earned, for which she has repeatedly and publicly thanked him. Kelly described her relationship with Ailes publicly as recently as last October in glowing terms. He's absolutely a mentor to me. He's also a friend. He's he is my boss. I mean, we're not equals, uh, but I depend on him for friendship and sane, honest advice, and he'll give it to me. Tim Dickinson, who wrote an Ailes profile for Rolling Stone magazine in 2011, painted a picture of a man who revolutionized cable news. Combining years of experience as a political operative and an ultra-conservative ideology to build Fox News from the ground up. Roger had a, an incredibly free hand in, in, uh, in developing Fox News. So Fox News is in every way a reflection of Roger Ailes. Much to Ailes' chagrin, a year ago, 21st Century Fox owner Rupert Murdoch put his sons, Lachlan and James, in charge of Fox News and announced that Ailes would be reporting to them. Sources with direct knowledge of the situation told NBC News the brothers wanted Ailes out even back then. Roger Ailes is the most important person in television news. He is the most important person in the conservative movement in America. The decision about whether to remove Roger Ailes from his post will undoubtedly have an effect not just on Fox News, but also on the landscape of Republican politics. So parent company 24th Century Fox has put out a statement via tweet. It says, Roger is at work. The review is ongoing. The only agreement that is in place is his existing employment agreement. Roger Ailes' attorney tells me that Roger Ailes continues to run Fox News' coverage of the Republican National Convention. Savannah? All right, Cynthia McFadden at Fox headquarters. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.